Welcome to the SRM Approval Process Overview Training. In this video, we will be covering how to submit a service request to receive approval, how to check on the approval status for the request that you have submitted, and what to do when your service request is rejected. The process begins with the submitter. This first swim lane represents the customer that is requesting service from a CDT business or technical unit. Once the submitter submits an SR, it is sent to the designated customer approvers. The second swim lane represents the designated approvers and their alternates for the submitter's department. The amount of approvals needed could vary between one and three depending on the specific type of service request and the submitter's department's internal approval process. These approvers have the option to approve or reject a service request. We'll cover how a submitter should handle a rejected service request later in this video. After the submitter's designated approvers approve the service request, it is then sent to a layer of approvers at CDT. This could include the service supervisor, CDT security, or CDT financials department, depending on the type of service request. Once approved, the request is sent to the CDT support group or groups that will fulfill the request. Each department can have an unlimited list of approvers set up in SRM. As I mentioned when we were reviewing the process flow diagram, a service request can have between one and three approvers as designated by their department. When completing the service request, the submitter can use the drop-down list to locate their management or directly type their name in the field, with their immediate supervisor or manager as the first approver and the next level of management as the second and third. If the request only requires one or two approvers, the submitter can select or type none in place of a specific member of management, as you can see in the example on the screen. As a best practice, the submitter should not select the same approver more than once. Once the request is submitted, it will display in the submitter's My Request console. The submitter can then see when a request is in waiting approval status. The submitter can click on the details link in order to identify who has and has not approved the service request. After selecting the details link, the submitter can select additional details to identify which approvers queue the request is in. The approval history will display each approver, the status, the approver's electronic signature, and the date and time of the approval. Once the request is approved by all of the selected approvers, the request status will change to initiated or in progress. After receiving all of your department's approvals, the CDT approval process will begin. Depending on the service request form chosen, your request may have to receive additional approval from CDT security and financial approvers. Specific requests for services are then automatically routed to the appropriate service area for approval. Once the request is approved or rejected, the status of the request will change to show the submitter the most recent action. You can see from the example on the screen that my request was rejected. To view why your request was rejected, click on Details. Once you're at the Request Details screen, to locate the rejection justification, click on the Additional Details tab, then view the approval history on the right. If your request has been rejected, there will be a Reopen option below the status under the My Request box. Once the submitter adds additional information or attachments, they can click Reopen to resubmit their request for approval.